saying, government, sell your state, get out. Show, show the world itself. that the bank. Uh, in my opinion, it's just you going. You get a whole nother layer of possible uh, parents people walking now are looking because... at sport or activity as another form of education. Welcome to the trade desk where money talks. My name is Dave Floyd with Aspen Trading Group in Bend, Oregon. And with me, as usual, Matt Davio of Red Rock Partners and Jesse Felder of Felder and & Company. And again, we've got our new set. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. And uh, we're going to take a look at some charts as to what's been happening in the market since our show a couple of weeks ago. So if we could pop up that first one. Jesse, you'd been talking about this. In fact, you sent me over this chart um, last week. Uh, give us a little background on this. I mean, I'm familiar with it, but. Well, I think the options market is, uh, is an interesting market to look at to see where people are placing bets. And it's usually good, especially the equity options to see it's kind of a contrarian indicator when you see a lot of people buying calls right. and betting the market's going to go up stocks are going to go up that's a sign that there's not enough fear in the market when you see a lot of put buying people betting the market's going to go down sign there's way too much fear mm -hmm. and the market's probably going to go the other direction so mm -hmm. yeah so now we're seeing a <clears throat> volatility index uh, the vix that cruised down to what 22 and a half after right. being as high as 96. it's another indicator of fear related to the options market yeah right. so so people have gotten comfortable in the fact that the market's never going down right and we've been it talking, hasn't gone down in several right. months. And we've been talking about that for the last few weeks on the show, the record bullishness, so to speak. And mm -hmm. But the one thing that we had noted, and I don't think we have it on the next chart, but if you can go ahead to the next chart, this is the S&P 500. Uh, it's not on this particular chart, but we were talking about the waning, the momentum. Right. While we had kept hitting yeah, new highs over the last few weeks, the momentum had been going down. And then yeah. last Friday, I think was the, or last Thursday, was, was really the, in my opinion, the indication that we're probably going to head lower. We broke below this previous high at 1039. I think if we can get below this trend line down yeah, there I around think, 1020, I think, I think we'll be in, going much I think much Friday lower. we had uh, the jobs number, and it was very bearish, obviously, but mm -hmm. it was to be expected. So the market had sold off into Friday. We went down to 1,012 on the S&P, and then that was the low of the day, and that was pre-market. So pre-market, we rallied all the way back. Now here, I think this morning we're at 1030. And I think we'll probably rally 10, between 10.30 and 10.50 at least. That's, mm -hmm. again, some key Fibonacci numbers. And I know you've got 10.40 10 40 resistance here right there. on the S&P, which relates to about 10.35. But, but, uh, but in theory, we could actually go all the way back just to barely above last week's highs yeah. and still be considered into a, what I, I consider this actually a bearish chart. Yeah. I would really like to see us break this trend line here. Right. Um, yeah, but just we'll like see. back, I see in your chart here, just we made a lower, uh, you know, we made a low back there in your A move there mm -hmm. uh, that was below that recent high, just like Correct. we're doing here. Yes. So that failed. Mm -hmm. And if we fail again, you know, the, the trend is still bullish. There's no doubt. I mean, Absolutely. we all agree with that. It still and there's is. still a lot of liquidity in the market. Yeah. And, you know, the logical side of me, I mean, technically I look at this and I get kind of bearish, but the logical side of me is it's not like the economy is going back into the crapper in a serious way. At least no. it's hard to see that. So. But it can't get much better. I mean, I it's think people think exactly. we're, we're looking at this huge recovery, and we haven't gotten better at all. We just stopped we priced getting bad. It's stopped way, getting worse. And they're yeah. priced in way too much. We've at got this a lot of band-aids on the gusher. Yeah, right. a lot of. Well, we got a, we've got a couple minutes left in this segment. Let's take a look at a couple more charts here. Go to the next one, please. And you know, this is the dollar index again on the daily chart. And by the way, we're going to post these charts on our Facebook account, so you can get if you want to get detail on this. I know it's hard to see on the TV. But Jesse, you and I have been talking about this, this dollar index or right. the dollar itself. Uh, it, in my opinion, it's just going up ugly. And I think it's very similar to uh, what you, all of us were talking about when everybody was looking for that break lower in the S&Ps right. about a month or so ago. Everybody's thinking it was going to go lower. It right. never did. Everybody's thinking the dollar's going to go lower. It, it's not, but it's also not screaming yeah. higher. I think, I think what's going to happen is you know, a month from now, Dollar index is going to be a lot higher, and everybody's going to be like, "How what the happened? heck did that? Right. How did it sneak up on me?" Yeah, like I think that? it's going to be very slow. And, and again, uh, you know, that chart. There's a very nice top range there that you can see if you if you drew a parallel line there on your on your top end, you can see once we break through well, that, I think it's kind of off to the races. What this so. translates into is everybody's looking for inflation. We had so much stimulus, so much money printing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's looking for inflation, and the dollar's going to tank. There have been, we've gotten no signs of inflation right. over the last few weeks. We've gotten well, signs of deflation. Yeah. Well, let's, let's talk so, about that. We can go to the next chart and we'll show that clear as a bell. This is the 10-year Treasury note. Right. And last week, rates dropped below that 3.3 support level. Yeah, they're I heading, think they're heading down to the, down to the high twos. Yeah, I agree. I think 3, 2.9 is a perfect, so. and, but again, that's not new. I mean, this has been going on really since early June when Correct. we peaked at four. So right. I think we're also nearing the exhaustion point. And if you drew a key fib number from two to 
2.450 is right here at, thir at three, three, three flat on the 10 year. So mm -hmm. we're coming right to that. So we're, we're, we're at a big, uh, you, know, in, you know, spot where a lot of things are about to turn. Yeah, it's crossroads. Yeah, big crossroads. <laughs> totally. I think of the word. Thank yeah. you. Well, we'll talk about this a little bit more when we come back and some other topics of interest. You're watching The Trading Desk on COTV, Channel 11.